welcome to our selection of videos. This one is on things in my control and things out of my control. The worksheets that go alongside this will be on the website, which is rainbowafterthestorm.org. Go over, see our selection of free downloads and then our collection of booklets as well that you're able to purchase. So the idea of doing these videos is to go alongside these worksheets just to give you an idea of my thoughts behind them when I put them together and how I use them in the classes that I go to and I teach at. So this one, particular one, is underpins pretty much every topic uh, that I teach, every topic that I come across and can be adapted for whoever it is that you, who are you either working with or um, you're using it yourself. So let's go. So the first thing that I always say to everybody, whatever it is that we're doing, is what is on your mind today? So what's going on? Get it down on a piece of paper because often we keep it in our mind. It ends up staying there. Uh, it's a bit like a desk when you're trying to find something. You can see my desk right now. It's piled high. It's got lots of things going on. Can I find things? Absolutely. But actually, there's nothing better than when I just take everything off the desk and put things back into places where I can find them a little bit better. And that's what I want to help us do with things in our mind. So take a moment, write down absolutely everything, get it down onto a piece of paper. Now, sometimes in my classes, um, I, I come across wonderful people who just kind of, I'll ask them this, and they're just, they're, they're not able to write anything down. If that is where your mind is, can I just say that's totally normal. So if you're able to and want to, write something down on your worksheet. If not, just look at it, let it be there, and just know whichever way you're doing this, that's absolutely fine. So I've wrote down a couple of things here. Um, to be honest with you, when we're doing this in class, I do encourage kind of my health. What is it about your health that you've got going on there? Paying the bills specifically. What is it that you're worrying about right now? Too much to do. Let's get that wrote down. Is it I've got to go shopping? I've got to get this organised today. I've got to get to there. There's not enough hours in the day. Write it all down. So this actually becomes full. Go outside of the cloud. It makes no difference. But my, my family, my friends, what is it specifically? Get it down there. So this just becomes a jumble of words, but that represents what is going on in your mind. And it gives you that clarity of, ah, that is maybe why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling right now. Because the mind starts to panic when it's got too much to do. The body joins in. Um, and it, it, it is, it's just finding that little bit of clarity. So once we've got all of that wrote down, we are then, this is this is where for me the magic happens. I love this. I've got several different versions of this depending on which book uh, it is that we're looking at. So things in my control and things not in my control. So basically, I, the way I kind of narrow this down in my mind, things in my control, anything's got the word my or I are in my control. I don't say staffed, but my or I. So the friends that I have, my attitude, my decisions, my words and thoughts, what I post online, my actions, my self-care, asking for help, what I say and what I do, how I respond to a situation and my boundaries. So those are all the things that are in, in my control, in your control. These are the next are things that are out of control, so not in your control. Now, just because Nick says, oh, they're not in your control, let them go. I totally appreciate that a lot of these taps into leaving us with hurt, frustration, upset. Um, but bear with me on this. So what aren't in your control? What other people post online, past mistakes, my past mistakes and others, past mistakes, others' actions, how I react to, I uh, sorry, how people react to my boundaries, what other people believe, what other people think. Who loves me? Who likes me? The future, that's a huge one. What's on your mind? I'm worrying about the future. <clears throat> Someone else's decisions. The weather. The weather has a huge impact on our mental health, but physical health. So at the moment, we're just, we're first of December actually today. We're coming into our colder. You can, you can tell already it's getting colder. That can have effect on body joints, underlying health issues. Uh, and, and there's a big difference with our mental health as well. 
Um, so don't underestimate that. Just know that that's there, but we have no control over it. What we can do is work with it. Others being kind, other people's time and other people apologising to me. Now, again, I see the things in my control as a big circle. I, I have a huge big hula hoop around me. And I will often say, uh, both myself and to others, it's not in my control. Put it outside of that circle. Nothing to do. Don't let it occupy your worries. Don't, don't let it be there. If we're waiting for someone else to apologise to us, can I just say that you may well be waiting forever? And I don't say this to hurt you, but I say this because you're still carrying around. Why did they do that? Why would someone say that to me? Why would someone behave that way? This is about their behaviour. This is about what they have done, what they have said. You may get a chance to ask them that question. You may not. And also, if you do ask that question, you might find that they don't even realise what you're talking about. But you are still carrying it and you're still allowing that behaviour to influence how you are feeling, how you act. I might not trust anyone anymore. I might not like people. It may affect me in so many different ways. What that does is it leaves us with hurt. That is something that's in your control because at that point, how can I look after myself? What is it that I can do to soothe myself? So we're, we're working with two different things. Other people apologising to us is just a spiral that's going to go around. What other people believe? We saw this during COVID. What other people's post online? How people react to my boundaries. So if I've decided, actually, do you know what? That's not for me. I, I, for, the, for, the, for the good of my mental health, for the good of my physical health, I'm not going to get involved in that. I don't want to do that. Um, what other people think about that? They're a, they've got their own opinion. It's up to them. But I can't sit here worrying. I can think about it. I can look at the pros and cons. Of course I can. But how other people react to me saying, actually, I'm not going to do that, isn't for me to sit and worry about. It isn't for me to just sit and allow it to go round and round and eat up my energy and my emotions. So again, I'm fully aware that just because I say push it outside the circle, it can be left, we can be left with hurt, we can be left with upset. But that we can deal and work with that. Dealing with frustration of what other people do, is, is there's nothing we can do with that. It just keeps growing, it just keeps growing and we're carrying that round with us. So those are the things that are in my control and things that are not in my control. The next step is to take the blank version. Um, so thinking about what was in my world, the things I was worrying about, well, actually, I'm worrying about the fact such a thing's coming up. I've got all of these things to do. We've got it all down in our thought cloud. We're going to take that now and look at things that are in my control, which is why it's important we get it all out in the thought cloud. Um, so it could be that uh, it could, this works really well with with um, upset as well. If we've had a fallout with someone or there's a potential conflict or we're having a bit of an argument or something. It works at work, it works wherever. Things that are in my control. So if there's a disagreement, it might well be that I have no control of what the other person thinks or does. But what do I have in my control? Well, actually, what I'm able to do is is clearly say what is on my mind and coming from a place of not screaming not shouting again because my attitude's in my control how i respond to a situation bear in mind what i've probably done is gone away and thought about it and breathed and calmed down a lot then i'm going to respond rather than reacting we've all reacted i can react so we then work out what's in my control what's out of my control anything out of my control we need to push it away Nothing I can do about it. Is there anything I can do? No. Right. Not spending any more time on that. Things in my control. Okay. What small steps can you take if it's in your control? And then you give yourself a small list of things that you can start to do. I'm going to give you a bit of an example because it's not always as clear cut as in my control, out of my control. There are often things that straddle both. So health is a really good example of that. Um, underlying health issues, how I'm feeling mental health is can underline that. There's things that are in my control and things that aren't in my control. Things that aren't in my control when it comes to mental health is the fact that this is to do with the brain, to do, to do with the way that we're wired, it's to do with hormones, it's to do with trust, past traumas, things that are going on right now. That, that 
some of those things are in my control some of those things aren't in my control so i'm going to show you this part here so what i would ask you to do if it straddles over is put half in and half out that's what i mean by straddles over so um, as you can see the topic covers both areas such as the example below the key is to separate them um so things in my, things that are not in my control when we think about health um when my health is up and down so again things out of my control could be the weather situation what's going on anxiety might enhance the way that i'm feeling being tired might enhance that it could just be that it's a random tuesday and it decides to do what it wants that's what happens with health how my body and mind are feeling if I wake up and I'm feeling down, it's where it is. If I'm waiting for, for a diagnosis, if I'm waiting to be seen by a doctor or a specialist, I'm sat on a waiting list, the, waiting, the possible wait time for treatment, not in my control. I hear often of how long we have to wait. It's, the, you know, it's, it's this, it's that. It is all of those things, but we have no control over it. And all we're doing there is caught in spiral and we are... We are getting caught in that and it's draining more and more energy. It doesn't take away the fact we're frustrated and angry. But it does give us some options. So things in my control. How I look after my body and mind. What is it that I'm eating? Sometimes we need comfort food. Sometimes we want to just eat healthier, whatever our version of this is. Exercise. I'm not going to go and say what exercise are you doing if you're struggling to get off a sofa. So what is it that we're able to do that's appropriate for you? What I might do is try and get in a few extra steps while I'm at home. I might set myself a goal of once a week, twice a week, going for a very short stroll. And I use the word stroll rather than walk because there's been times that even just pottering from, from a living room to a, to a bathroom, to a kitchen, <clears throat> has felt really tough. So... That's why it's really important. This is about you and your plan. What is appropriate for you? Rest when you're able or you're, needed to, or you're needing to. Again, I hear, I, you know, actually all I did was sleep all day. Good. Your body needs it. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to sleep, sleep. This is when your body heals. This is when your body heals. Go with what your body is telling you. <clears throat> Asking for help. Attending appointments, not feeling guilty about our health. Don't feel guilty about it. It's where it is. We have no control over how what's going on. It's where it is. We I remember we have no control over things in the past. What's going on? It's there. It could have been an accident. It could be. A, it could. It's the where it is. Not comparing how you used to be. This is huge. This this by the way goes across a lot of topics. Not comparing how you used to be. Recognise it, notice it, but no, this is about where I am right now. We would not beat someone else up who was verbally, by the way, or um, who was who was feeling the way that we're feeling if they're not well. Oh, that's all you used to be able to do this. Why can't you do it now? That's ridiculous. You'd never say that. Never say that. And if you are saying that to someone else, then switch this video off. But if you wouldn't say it to someone else, you wouldn't say it to your best friend. You'd support them, you give them empathy, you give them kindness, you give them potential ideas, you give them space to find who they are now and to, to help them come to terms with where they are right now. Comparing yourself to anyone and especially yourself is, is a road that will just take you, a very steep road down a spiral that will just take you to not a good place. My boundaries, being able to say no. We've been out to a whole section on that, by the way. There's a little workbook that does that. There's all kinds. Just don't use the word no. Find yourself some space. Let me check my diary. I'm not able to do that today. Actually, do you know what? This isn't something that, that that's for me. Thank you very much for asking. My attitude. This is something that I'm looking at at the moment about attitude to myself, kindness to myself, reassuring that if I've made decisions that make me feel a bit jittery or that voice that comes in, oh, I'm not sure if you should be doing this. Oh, what will people say? All of those thoughts, I have them like you do. They're there. But my attitude towards this is I've thought long and hard and this is what I want to do. So I'm going to do this with kindness to myself. Which leads into the bottom part kindness to myself kindness to yourself how you speak to yourself what you think about 
recognising when we've got caught up in other people's words. Realising that actually kindness to self is the key to everything. Learning to just breathe and relax when these thoughts come in and these feelings come in. They will pass. They are like the ocean. They are like the sea as it comes in and the sea as it goes back out. You are living proof that that is what happens. So kindness to yourself. So I hope this little video has helped in some way. Um, the worksheets will be on rainbowafterthestorm.org. You will also find on there as well our different booklets that we've got on there. The Dealing with Anxiety, which is a good 40 odd pages. There's lots and lots of different worksheets that are in there as well, including this one. Including this one. Looking at triggers, we have the I Am I Can, which is seven different sub, uh, topics um, that I've been asked for over the years uh, that I teach in classes. This one has the importance of saying knowing, uh, dealing with drama, mindfulness. It's got uh, the anxiety part at the beginning, dealing with anxiety. Lots of strategies to help you with breathing, bringing yourself down, giving you that little bit more control. And then we have our little sleep, a uh, little sleep time booklet as though, which is uh, brand new as well. And again, we will be doing some uh, worksheets out of there. There are also some videos on our YouTube at the moment that are around sleep. Our YouTube is here, Rainbow After the Storm Mental Health Matters, along with all of our socials. And on the back of all booklets are numbers that are really helpful really really helpful they're there these people are here to help they want to help pick up the phone for the samaritans text over to shout reach out to someone these people don't judge they are there they will listen they will listen that is what they're wanting to do thank you very much i hope things in my control and things out of my control has helped a little if you'd like any more information please pop it uh, in the links below. Thank you very much for your time.